Australia has more than 2,000 different types of native bees. Most don't live in colonies and most produce little or no honey. Honey bees were successfully introduced to Australia in the early 1800s when they were brought here by European settlers. The first successful introduction was in 1822 when Captain Wallace brought seven hives of bees into Sydney Cove in uh, March 1822 aboard the uh, Isabella. There were previous attempted importations. Samuel Marsden tried to bring them in in 1810, but they got rained out when he left them in the, gov the uh, government gardens. And uh, there were even earlier attempts as 1805. Gregory Blacksland tried to bring them out, but I think the ship's captain prevented him from bringing them on board. And then there were earlier attempts into Tasmania in 1821, and their first successful introduction was in 1831 by a ship's surgeon. And it wasn't until 1846 that they reached Western Australia. And from those three states, they gradually reached the other states of South Australia and Queensland. The colonists needed sweetening agents, and sugar was expensive because it had to be imported all the way from England. So honey was the easiest way to provide a sweetening agent. And then there are many more reasons. Um, the pastoralists needed clover pollinated because they had cattle and horses, and the honeybee was the agent that pollinated the clover and make sure that it set seed for the next year. It was a gentleman's and a gentlewoman's and an officer's pastime. Clerical people, administrators, officers, professional people, they all enjoyed keeping bees. And so as part of making Australia into an English countryside, or as much as they could uh, get it to equal the English, English countryside, they brought out bees just to have a piece of England at home. Early beekeeping in Australia was a challenging occupation. In 1930, I got round about 30 hives of bees, and uh, uh, it was pretty tough going. Me, I only had a little, very old model two framed extractor, and uh, I used to extract in a tent. The tent was transportable around wherever I went. And uh, it took me a good few years to get on my feet because I used to have to go to work for the cockies or go rabbiting in the winter time. And uh, it wasn't until I was about uh, in my uh, 30s before I started to make a a living, what I could call a living, out of the bees. And uh, as soon as I realised that I could make the full living, well then I just went to live with the bees all the time uh, in a tent. And while I was at the tent and the bees wasn't working, I was working because I was buying new material and nailing it all together to keep adding to the hives of bees. Uh, which took me a fair while 